Bismillah Rahman Rahim, I'm Rat Mohibullah Wazir, and the topic is the tributaries of the portal veil. Note, note this is very important to understand. Look, first you know is the splenic vein, and second this is the superimmensitaric vein, and then note the right and left gastric veins. And you can see this lower part of the esophagus, the abdominal part of esophagus as well. Then it also opens into it is the cystic vein of the gallbladder. And cystic vein of the gallbladder also opens into it. And then also the pancreatico duodenal vein. And note, don't forget that the parambolical veins which comes from the skin around the umbilicus and passes downward, it also opens into the, the portal vein. And in this way, note, the hepatic portal vein or portal vein, it drains the blood from the gallbladder and then from the spleen and then from all of the GIT in the intra-abdominal part, that is the lower part of esophagus, Except, except the lower part of the anal canal and the segment colon, you know, this lower part is being drained by the middle inferior rectal arteries, veins, which opens into the systemic, while the upper part of the segment colon and all the GIT, except this inferior part of the anal canal and rectum and the upper part, the thoracic part of esophagus, this is all being drained by the portal vein. In this way, when the portal hypertension, uh, hypertension occurs due to cirrhosis of liver, the effects you will see in all these organs. And this we will discuss in the next lecture. Thank you.